Hi, I'm Susie. I had lots of fun doing this beautiful pink bling design the cameraman loved, but today it's got to go. I gotta make room for a new design. I'm gonna show you an easy way to get rid of it. Let's get started. So when I applied my blingy jewel, the goal of course is to make sure it withstands anything that I'm going to do in the next three to five weeks during my fill, and I do the same for a client. And they're adhered pretty good, so now's when it matters that I wish I didn't hear them so good because now i got to get them off. So one thing you can do is you can take some acetone and soak it, stick it in there and soak it, but it'll also affect the acrylic and make it kind of mushy after a while. So I wouldn't recommend that because you don't want to ruin your acrylic. So you can just take a pair of nippers and try to, this is the only time I like you to use nippers, is to, you can just, oh, that came right off. And then you can try the same with this one. Now you can see the backs of them. They, sometimes the backs will pop off or they'll become separate or they'll stick on and you still gotta file it off. But this back actually remained, that's interesting. So you could actually use those again. And the little ones, sometimes they'll just pop off too. But you wanna cover your eyes and you know, just be really careful sometimes you can, if you try to cover a little when you're doing a client, like you don't want to pop it up and through their eyes and their hair and even yourself, just make sure you're really, really careful. So you can just sort of pry them off. It takes a little bit of elbow grease. Be careful you don't slip, you don't want to jab into your cuticle like that, okay? You can see this is where it kind of nestled in there in between all the gel, just kind of really sat in there securely. If you can't get it off with the nippers, another thing you can do is with the drill. Now with the drill, it might be kind of hard sometimes you think to get under, but you didn't really go under it as much as you also did it, the product was on the side. So if you're sort of loosening the side, like going in at it here, your gem will just pop right off. So you kind of attack it on the side there like that. But just be careful if the client's got little kids or something that it's not flying around at their eye level. And clients don't usually sit close enough that it can affect them, but there it went. So you can see this one, you can just sort of trying to get under them a little. And oh, there's another drill piece. We could try this. I've never actually tried this. Okay, so I've just put that in there. I'm gonna turn it on. This is like a little pointy one. See if I can just sort of, those little spots to get into those little corners that just might be in there. This one's a stubborn one, but if I just file around the gel that I used to secure it, if I just loosen that a little, it might come off really easy. So I'm gonna try that. Yep, for that, just pop right off. That one went too. So as long as you're getting underneath it, you can just pop it right out. Oh, did you hear that one? I heard that one. Almost took my eye out. <laughs> It almost hit Hold on, I gotta get safety goggles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that is a concern. If it's flying all over, you might want to get the customer to have a pair of safety goggles. You don't want to hit anybody in the eye with this. I mean, it's not that much power behind it, but you want to be careful. So they're all off now. And then it obviously leaves a residue of the gel because that's what was holding it in there. You can see this one really bad. That big circle where the giant gem nestled right into that gel, that hard gel. And then you just take your file, or your hand file, whatever you're using, and you just wanna smooth that right off. There you go. So if you don't have a drill, so you just wanna take a coarse file, and just file it as smooth as you can. That's the goal, to get all those lumps and bumps off so you're ready for your next service. So if you have secured these lovely little gems inside polish, then you've just nestled it into the polish and it will dry and secure into that. And you simply remove that by getting a lot of remover on the cotton pad and just sort of soaking it a little bit and rubbing it and it'll all just wipe right away. So it's really easy if you do it inside nail polish. So that's the quickest, easiest way to remove gems and jewels off your nails. So now I'm gonna smooth these off and I'm just gonna get them all ready for the next cool design. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.